and you said you're you said you're going into the military now yes um i decided probably building up within the last two years i don't know exactly what i want to do with my life i have ideas and i i think something along the intelligence firm of my own design would be something along the way so i thought the military might be a cool way to i had a list i lost it somewhere but like eight key points of where the military will help me on my future goals and kind of give me a little bit more buffer space into getting into the i know where i want to go at least in the, i know a period of my life in like my 40s i know where i want to be Mm -hmm. I don't really know how to get there going into my 30s. So maybe the the eight years in the military will get me those steps, networking, body shape, a little cash flow, new discipline, possibly more school money, yada, yada. This is like a, a decent amount of things to get me down that route. Yeah, I've, I've heard that the military is a really unbelievable way of developing conscientiousness. And like you said, that, that discipline where... Sure. You have this regime and you have to follow it and you're part of this community. And I, I've heard a lot of people go through the military and really enjoy their experience and learn a lot from it. It's it's harder than I thought. Like um, like the, the key categories I've had to work on, like I got back in May and my goals were research, nutrition, exercise, weight training, jogging, then move into researching the military itself and then researching the things to get into the military and like by the, by the time i researched enough to like create a meal plan understand flex ons flex offs ability to understand how the motions are moving and like I, i've got i wrote 140 pages so like of like like i got a book of stuff that like i know my body a lot better than i did before mm -hmm. and i didn't start working out till like september and now i'm like it's slow and it's as you know as someone an athlete I'm a fit guy, but I'm like slow. It takes a long time to get in shape. My 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 running is. I guess I can't compare to you now because you got the ankle. But like I'm, I can't, I can't I, walk yeah, yet. yeah. But I'm I'm a slow jogger. I'm sure you might know a number, but I'm a six minute kilometer, and I need to get to a four twenty. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty big shave off, and that's like, and then like I need to be able to do twenty push ups easily, and I'm like. I can do 20 now, but it hurts and like my shoulder hurts and stuff. And like, it's, it's, it's debilitating. And like, there's this thing called the Canadian forces aptitude test. And it's like, um, some of it's basic problem solving you learn in high school. Like Sally speaks French, Lisa speaks French or speaks Spanish, blah, blah, blah. Can you see who doesn't speak this mm -hmm. or actual someone buys a loaf of bread at $3 and 50% off here. And then like, I'm struggling. I got this free test online. I'm getting like 67 to 80 percent, and I they don't tell you how well you have to do on the test to get the job you want, but like it's like oh my gosh, I'm getting crushed by this grade 10 math, and that's what it is, right? You have you have to get into it, but it's yeah, it's right. ironically demoralizing and kind of stressful. Like, man, what if I don't get into this? I spent two, I'm, I'm now it's been almost a year since I've been home, and it's probably going to take another year to even like get the next step and rolling it's a slow process even the bureaucratic with covid mm -hmm. so it's like oh what if i wasted all this time and all these kind of thoughts coming along with it so so you're essentially doing an iq test then it's 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 probably an iq test it definitely there's parts of it that are i've done iq tests there's iq test portions of it. it it definitely is an iq test yeah 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 well, it's an aptitude test as they call it right yeah, oh, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. Lots of, yeah, lo I, I think it's illegal to give an IQ test as a corporation, but I think that's becoming more of a thing um, yep. in the hiring process. But I know that that's a thing for the military. Uh, yeah. What is it? In Vietnam, there was a platoon called the McNamara something. It was, mm -hmm. um, there, were, there was this sergeant or officer and he had this, his platoon called the McNamara something. His name was McNamara. Sure. And so he took the bottom portion of the IQ distribution and put them all together. And like friendly fire went up significantly. All of these things went up significantly that, that you obviously wouldn't want from a military platoon. Sure. I think they ended up distributing them throughout uh, like kitchens and all of these areas where 
it wasn't detrimental and mm -hmm. people out enough. But now, now you have to have a, a, a certain IQ to join the U.S. military. I think it's around 87.5. That's well, I'm, I'm sure if you fail this CFAT, which people do, I'm sure that's their technical IQ. As you say, it's an IQ. They might not say that out loud, but that is, if you can't pass yeah. this to a level, yeah. And every, I think it's percentile based on how many people are applying, and you need to get a certain percent infantry. It's, I, I would imagine 40% of the tests you have to do well on. Like, it's not even to 50, I imagine. And, like, intelligence sounds like it's in the 80s to 90s, and... Mm -hmm. Logistics, which is the other job I'm looking for, is I bet you 70 to 90 percent. Mm -hmm. Logistics is less than intelligence officer, but mm -hmm. it, you got to hit the mark, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it, it, 